Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today I have a fill-in style grocery haul to share with you, so stay tuned. The Family Fudge, The Family Fudge, they are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So right now it is Thursday evening, but by the time you're seeing this it'll probably be Friday, so happy Friday. I ended up just going to Costco and to Walmart for sort of a fill-in style trip. I didn't need a whole lot, and I didn't even film in the store because I didn't really see anything that was that new or interesting. So today's video is just the haul. So if you enjoy videos that are just the haul, then this one's for you. But I'm also going to be sharing with you my dinner menu plan for about the next week or so. Okay guys, now I know this table looks like a jumbled mess because it totally is. We have things from Costco, I have things from Walmart, I have food items, I have non-food items, all kind of just stacked here together. Um, and even though this was technically a fill-in trip, we did end up spending about $350. But we did buy a lot of non-food items this time that we don't necessarily buy every week that we go shopping. So I'll go ahead and start with the Costco items and then I'll work my way around. Back here we picked up a brand new um, Wi-Fi cable modem router and this guy was why it was so expensive. This was $179 but it's a really good one and we definitely needed it. So we picked that up. Underneath this guy, I'll set that down there, we have four new really nice bath towels and these were marked down to $4.99. These are really nice, very large, and very soft for $4.99. You can't beat that. They had these in gray and blue and green and tan. So we picked up four of those. And then from Costco, I did pick up two new dresses for my girls. This purple one is for Lily. And this blue one is for Mackenzie. And these were $19.99. Now I think that's all of the non-food items from Costco. We'll go ahead and start with the food items. Over here we have sort of the dairy section. I have a double pack of the mild cheddar. And this is pre-shredded so it's nice and quick and easy for me. I got a big container of the organic Greek yogurt. We got a package of the pre-sliced um, medium cheddar cheese. We got a package of the holy guacamole, and this actually has three um, packages in there. We got a triple pack of lunch meat. We have smoked turkey, honey ham, and oven roasted turkey. This is really good, and it was on sale this week, which I always like. Over here, we picked up a rotisserie chicken. That's going to be on our menu plan for tonight. Something really quick and easy, and with this rotisserie chicken, I'm going to serve this Asian cashew chopped salad. Now I haven't actually tried this one before. They were out of my favorite barbecue um, chopped salad, so we're gonna give this one a try. It looks pretty good and it was only $3.99. Back up over here, I have a new item that I've never tried before. This is the red curry with brown rice and red quinoa. And this comes with five trays, and this was only just about $5 for this box. So it's, or, it's a pre-made meal, nice and quick and easy, and it looks pretty healthy. Now over here, you can see these really messy bottles of pasta sauce, and that is because as they were getting loaded into the car, two of them <laughs> fell out of the car and onto the parking lot, and they broke. And so now we just have two. The store did have them on sale for, for $5.99, which is a really good deal, but we only made it home with two, and that's okay. Accidents happen. Back behind here, we have a package of bagel bites, which I've never purchased for the kids before, but this big box of 72 was on sale for only $5.49. So I figured it would be a good time to give these a try. And they're really not as bad as I thought they were. You know, no artificial flavors, made with real cheese, so hopefully they'll like them. Over here, I got a big jar of strawberry jam, perfect for some PB&Js this week. I got another package of this five cheese tortelloni. This is such a good deal and it's great for a quick, easy dinner. Back over here, I got a package of the 100% juice uh, boxes for the kids' lunches. Now I don't give these to the kids like every day. It's kind of a treat um, to pack in their lunch. Above that, I have a package of Activia yogurt 
And these are actually still on sale right now. My kids really like these, but I have to ration these because if they could, they would definitely eat more than one a day. But yes, I ration these. I put them up high in the fridge where they can't reach them. Over here, I have a big package of Pirate's Booty. This is a really good sort of cheddar um, puffed corn, and this was on sale for just over $3 for this huge bag. Under that, I have a box of my almond milk. I was really excited that they had this in the store this time, because last time I was there, they did not have it. Over here, I have a package of apples, and I kid you not, I saw this because there was Mickey on it, and I could not pass it up. These are actually organic gala apples. They're the perfect little size and they were really inexpensive, only about $4 for this bag and they're organic, which I really like. Over here, I have a big bag of broccoli. This is gonna go into some stir fry and some meals this week. Over here, I have a big package of eggs, which I don't normally buy, but I wanted to try to cook some eggs in my new Instant Pot. And so I picked up this um, package to make it a little bit easier. Sometimes those farm fresh eggs like we have, they're not the easiest to peel if you hard boil them. So I'm gonna give these a try. Over here I have a triple pack of the hot dogs. I like to keep two in the freezer and then one of these packages we will grill out sometime this week. Over here I have two packages of bananas and then that is everything from Costco. And now on to my things from Walmart. I did pick up a few Halloween decorations. I thought this little kitty was so cute. I love his little soda bottle cap eyes. And this guy was only $3.84. So a little bit more expensive than the dollar store, but really, really cute. I really like it. And then to go along with that, I picked up this new um, little sign. It hangs just like this. It says, welcome. I will definitely be hanging this on my front door. And this was only $3.98 as well. So super cute. Walmart has a really cute Halloween decorations this year. Over here, I picked up a watermelon. I also picked up a jalapeno and some zucchinis. Now these are going into a date night <laughs> recipe video. And to go along with this, I also have some turkey bacon. So I'm gonna be making some, well actually, my husband and I are gonna be making bacon wrapped jalapeno chicken with pepper jack cheese stuffed inside. So definitely watch for that video. It should be posted on Saturday. Um, I also picked up a package of the gluten-free spaghetti. We're gonna be making spaghetti sometime this week, so I really like the uh, Barilla gluten-free. It's really good. I also picked up a loaf of bread for sandwiches this week. And then a couple other random things. I got a can of spray paint. You can't really tell here because the light's kind of funny, but this is sort of a um, mint green aqua color. And this is for some DIY projects. I'm doing a bedroom makeover for my girls. And so I'm gonna be spray painting a few things. And then these guys, these look totally crazy, but fun. My kids picked these out while we were at Walmart. This is a lava slime goop. Yes, they are gonna be making some slime. My kids have their own YouTube channel. It's called Family Fudge Kids. I'll go ahead and link it down below. It's kind of where they can put all of their crazy kid videos that don't really um, fit on my channel. They also picked up this glow in the dark slime. So, yep, they'll be making those uh, for their channel pretty soon. And I think that is everything. Okay guys, so here's a look at my dinner menu for the week. Tonight I'm just gonna be serving that rotisserie chicken that we picked up with some of the Asian chopped salad. This week I'm also gonna be making some broccoli beef stir fry, some turkey spaghetti, and then one night this week we're gonna be making some zucchini fries and we're gonna serve that with some chicken balms, which is basically a jalapeno and cheese stuffed chicken breast wrapped in bacon. It sounds so good. Also, one night this week I plan on grilling out. I'm gonna make some hot dogs for the kids and I have some veggie burgers for my husband and myself. Also this week I'm going to be making some of my freezer marinade packs. I made a video about these a while ago if you wanna check it out, but I used some of my Zaycon Fresh Chicken 
stuck it in a bag with different marinades and just put it in the freezer. And then of course I've scheduled one night as a leftover night. So anything that we didn't get to or didn't finish on the previous nights, we'll be having on that night. Okay guys, thanks for joining me for another grocery haul. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.